Ten is a cameraman. What are we talking about? We're talking about physical properties, right? Now, physical properties, oh. if you add water, right? If you add heat, if you add temperature, it's moving. Evaporation. Okay. Oh, evaporating. This is let's call this matter. We're gonna call this matter. Now, if I add water to this, what could happen to it? Oh, you do that. What could happen? It could expand. Good. Or if it's a sponge. It can expand. If it's a sponge, it may expand, right? Because water sucks up the water. Sponge sucks up the water. What else could happen if I add water to this? Uh, that, if that thingy is a cup, you just you take your crazy. What could happen if I have water? Nothing. Okay. Just water just flows out and get away. Now, if I have, now, do we know what this is? A ball. No, we don't have no idea what kind of matter it is, right? If it, let's say, for example, it's dirt. We're not dirt. We're dirt ball. If I add water to dirt, what's going to happen to it? It's going to suck it up. Dirt. It's going to get what? It's right. going to begin to suck it up, but if I add a lot of water, what's going to happen to it? It's going to become dirt. a what? No. Well, well, what's the science word? It's going to become a. Mud slime. No, wait. It's going to become a liquid, right? Now, the idea if you take dirt and you add a lot of water to it and you shake it up, it becomes a liquid. Now, if I do use the same dirt and I add heat to it, what's going to happen? Wow. The going to rise. What could happen to the. If I take. If I had that same liquid, right? Now I added water. Now the dirt is all. Li it's a liquid. But now if I add water to it, what's going to happen to the dirt? No. What? Water? If I have, I, have, I have dirt, I add water to it, it's going to become a liquid. But if I add heat to it now, what's going to happen? Mm. It's gonna, okay, so now you're going to have evaporation. Uh, and what am I going to be left with? Dirt. Dirt, dirt right? So there it goes again. Now, what if I change the temperature, and now the dirt is back to a solid, I make it really cold outside, what's going to happen to the dirt? Freeze. It's going to freeze, right? Freeze. Unless you put water in there, it'll freeze. Now what happens if I add water to that, to the dirt that's frozen? It's going to do what? Melt down. Right. Water's going to melt it? Well, that's a good question. Now, the dirt is already frozen. I add water. What's going to be colder, the water or the temperature? The water. The water, right? So as I'm pouring the water out, what am I going to see? When you go outside on a cold day, you go like this. What do you see? Your breath, right? But because the temperature's so cold, what comes out of your mouth? Not carbon dioxide. You get, you're not a, are you a New York City bus? No. No. What comes out of your mouth when it's cold outside and you go... Oxygen. Oxygen, right? That's your water vapor, right? Because the temperature in your mouth is what? Colder or hotter than outside? Hotter, yeah. So the same idea. If you take a cup of water, for example, if it's really cold outside right now, and I open this window, right? Let's say it was super cold. I mean, like, really cold. Yeah, and I yeah. took water outside, and went like this. All of a sudden... The water would just disappear. It vaporized. Why? Because the temperature is so cold outside that as soon as that water touches that air, it's going to become a smoke, just like that. Really? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, what happened that? What do you? Got? I thought that like if you expand, um, it would be so cold, and then you put water, and then you splash water out. I have to put ten outside. Well, now that, that's a good question. Now she got a good point. If I take cold water, ice cold water. And I throw it out the window on a day when it's really cold, what's going to happen to it? Turn into ice. It's going to turn to ice because it's really cold. But if I take boiling hot water, <laughs> I take a boil, it's so hot, it's so hot that if I take it and I throw it out the thing, what's going what's, what's to happen to it? The temperature of the hot water is going to change like this, right? So that physical change, that chemical change is going to cause the water to vaporize. So if the water is boiling hot, when we throw it outside, we change the temperature, it'll vaporize. But if the water is stained, it's very cold, it'll just become ice cold. That's very good. Yeah. What's up? Can, we Can we try as an experiment? I would love to do it, but it's too warm outside right now. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Uh, if we, we do it less cold and we do it less hot water, and then like vaporize, and then... No, but it's going to vaporize. No, no. But that's, see, that's the thing. When you're talking about science, right? You need predictability, right? For example, when we make hypotheses, Global right? Warning. We know that if we add, for example, if we add heat to water, it's going to what? It will roll around. No, if I add heat to water, what's going to happen? It's going to start to boil. It's going to boil, right? So that, that's, that's an experiment that we can repeat over and over again so we know it's like a chemical or scientific law. What do you got? Why do we throw water into the 
freeze. No, you can't do it because, for example, like the freezer, the temperature of the freezer is not as cold as outside. I'm talking about like on those days it's like negative 20 degrees, negative 15, but it's like a winter storm, you have to cover your face with a scarf. You take boiling hot water and you can go on YouTube. There's actually an experiment, okay? Oh, well, I know okay? what's And you just throw it out there, it vaporizes just like that. Okay? I know what's worse than that Where's that? Korea. Korea is negative 20 degrees? Somewhere in uh, the mountains. I've never heard of that. 